Scale Robotics is digitizing construction through the introduction of autonomous mobile robots, which are automatically doing progress monitoring for construction. So let's break that down a little bit. <laughs> what is progress monitoring exactly? Literally, what do the robots do? How do they work in the construction site? Our mobile robots are moving around and they're fusing multiple sources of information to build these maps of the world. So it's not quite as simple as just traditional laser scanning. We're adding a lot more extra information such as images, video, and also the data that the robot's producing inside. So it's sort of like we compared to the Google cars that go around you know, mapping the world. You've built a sort of very dedicated version of that to work inside construction sites. I mean, that's pretty much it. We're leveraging a lot of the technology that came from developing autonomous vehicles but we're taking that technology and we're really refining it specifically for the construction industry. And in terms of the data that you're capturing, the high resolution, granular, very sort of detailed data, there's literally no way that that would ever be a kind of a, a human job to do that. You'd need an army of humans to try to do that. So you're not replacing a specific kind of job role really with this sort of technology. To give you a perspective of how a construction site recently was solving one of these problems, they wanted to know if all the ducts in the ceiling were above two meters. So they took a two meter stick and they just walked around to see if they would bump into things at two meters. So it's just impossible for a human being to do this without a tool. And you, I mean, people have developed tools to be able to solve this problem like laser measures or tape measures or rulers, but you just can't do that for like 100,000 elements in a building. It's just not scalable or possible. So you need tools like this to solve that problem. Now your background is in architecture to a degree. I, I believe you worked designing buildings yourself. <laughs> yes. So uh, talk us through how you came up with the idea for this business. You presumably identified this was a problem. So talk us through that process. Essentially, it was really born out of this frustration of not having the tools to be able to actually build what we designed in the office. And this was something that kind of was born out of some of the work we were doing in the master's course. And it was around this time that I met my co-founder, Barrett Sankaran, who's the CTO of the company. And we kind of put the things together into kind of a more holistic business plan and a company that we could actually start executing on these plans to bring this to the real industry and to life. How ready is the construction industry generally for something that's so you know, cutting edge and, and different? How are you kind of approaching selling it this new technology, this new approach, this quite transformative approach to the, the industry, which I imagine has quite traditional ways of working. It's been surprisingly simple to explain to them what the value is, and they're desperate for these solutions. There's a labor shortage. We just don't have enough skilled labor to actually build what we want to build at the pace we want to build it. So this is a problem. So you have to use what you have more efficiently. And construction companies are putting a huge amount of energy into building what are called BIM models, like huge information models. And they're working out that they put a lot of energy into 3D modeling, but they, they can't extract any of that from the construction site. So explaining to them the return on investment for this has been surprisingly easy, to be honest. How do the human construction workers on the site react to the robots? To be honest, it's been overwhelmingly positive. At the beginning, people are generally a little bit kind of shocked to see a robot on a construction site. It's not a normal thing that you see. But after maybe 20 or 30 minutes of yelling like weird jokes or like making fun or just staring at it, taking videos, even Snapchatting it to their friends, <laughs> they just accept it as another tool on the construction site. So they, they come up, they ask a question, they understand what it does and they say they internalize it and they go, OK, it's just another thing that's moving around, that's doing its job. It has every right to be here. And it's been really good to see that kind of acceptance.